Hello friends. Thank you for watching my video today. Uh, this is Margaret from Alabama Prepper. Hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, been a very frustrating day for me. I just wanted to share a little bit of it with you. I uh, had to go to the hospital this morning. I have to take Prolia injections because I'm and osteoporosis or osteopedia. So I thought while I was in Bruton, uh, or at Bruton and Flemington, I, I would do a couple of things. So one of our local, well, let me start all over. If you know what Poshmark is, uh, I deal in Poshmark a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, I, I sell a few things. I hadn't, I had really closed down my site. I had went on vacation for the summer because the garden was coming in. And uh, I just couldn't do the Poshmark and do the garden and the tanning and everything. So I, I put my site on vacation. So anyhow, I opened it back up about two weeks ago. And... Uh, I decided I do mostly uh, handbags and shoes and such as that is usually what I do. And I buy all my stuff from thrift stores uh, around the area because you can get it there cheaper and then you can add a couple of dollars to it and then you know, make a little bit off of it. Well, I went to one of my thrift stores. I had not been in there in a while. And uh, and it's a nice, nice thrift store. But, you know, thrift stores get what they sell by donations only. They don't buy anything. It's by donations only. Well, I went in the thrift store and I was going to look at some handbags. I normally pay $2.95, $3.95 unless they're on sale. That's about the limit that I that I pay for them. And then I put a couple of dollars on them and make a couple of dollars off of them. I went in the thrift store and the cheapest handbag they had was $5.95. Why is the thrift store going up? They run their business by donations only, and that's it. The cheapest purse I found was five ninety nine. Then there was one for seven ninety nine, or seven ninety five, and then one for nine ninety five. They weren't even name brand handbags. <coughs> you know, um, I thought you know these, they're getting what they get is gift to them. People give it to them. Why are they raising their prices on stuff that they get free? Needless to say, oh, I did not purchase anything. I just, you know, said, well, you know, I, I can't do this. So then I went to a store. Uh, I had went to Bruton. We have a pick and save in Brute, and we have a Walmart, and then we have a Piggly Wiggly across the bridge, but I don't normally go across the bridge, so, uh, anyhow, this grocery store pitch, pick and save, what they do is you buy their stuff, but then there's a 10% up cost at the end of what you buy. Uh, it's always 10% more, and I guess... If you spend $100, it would end up being $110. That I only got five items in there, but one of the items I got was uh, $8.95. It was in the sale paper on sale for $8.95. So I said, well, you know, I'll go ahead and get it. It, you know, it cost me, a, what, $8.95 plus 10%. Well, that was the first item that they rung up was supposed to be an eight ninety five and it rung up ten eighty eight. So I said, okay, I, I'm not a person to 
cause controversy. Uh, I do not like controversy, so I said, okay. Watch, they had their chicken legs and their chicken thighs on sale for a dollar and eight cents a pound. Well, that was a good buy, so I wanted some. What I got, I ended up with five packages that I had bought in there. And um, it should have been $24. Well, it ended up being $28. So I said, okay. So I got that and I went on to Walmart. I didn't have a lot to get. There, I did not need a lot. I, you know, uh, I had a $50 bill and I said, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend over $50. So, uh, I, I don't know what, I got some cereal, I got some buttermilk, got some cheese, some sausage, and bread, coffee. Well, I knew it was less than $50, so anyhow, when I went to go up to the uh, cash register, they only had one cash register open. And it was a line. It's most of elder people, elderly people. It was a line way back. And I said, well, uh, I got cash. I went through the self-checkout out with a credit card before, but I said, I'm wanting to do cash. So I said, uh, I don't know how to do it, but I'll get the lady to help me. So I went up there and, and I asked her, you know, did they take cash? And she said, yeah, they all took cash except for one. And she showed me which one. To, you know, that did not take cash. So I go over to this other self cashier thing and I ring up all my stuff. Well, I've never used the cash before, so I had to holler at the lady to come back. You know, I'm 70 years old. I, I'm dumb. I, I don't know nothing, you know. And I told her, uh, where do you put your money in? I, I don't know where to put the money in. And she said, well, you put it in. It was down below the checkout thing. She said, you put it in there between those two green lights. So I said, okay. I stuck my $50 bill up there. And I mean, it sucked it up like a vacuum cleaner. And then this thing come across the screen. And it said, what I got was $42.28. And this thing come across the screen, and it said, would you like to round uh, your order off to the next dollar? I told, I told her, I said, no, ma'am, I don't. I said, I, I'm having to check out my own groceries in here. I certainly ain't going to give Walmart 78 cents. And she said, oh, it's not Walmart that's doing that. That's, that's Honduras or somewhere. It's not Walmart doing that. And I said, well, I'm not giving them 78 cents. So anyhow, she done something. She fixed it. She said, well, uh, hit something. But, you know, it just goes to show you what we're, what we're dealing with now and what we're going to deal with. Check your prices. I had seen an article the other day that somebody said that they had bought some stuff at one of the stores and when they got up to the cash register it was the wrong price or, or Wal uh, I'm not sure if it was Walmart, I don't know where it was, but anyhow they said the prices were different than what she had, had got from the store, they, you know, watch your prices um, because, you know, you'll end up paying more than what, you know, what you're supposed to. The world we're living in is, is getting so ridiculous. We are, we live off of our social security. My husband does have a little bitty part-time job out there. He does help make, makes a little extra money, not a lot. But we need every penny we get. We need, you know, we have to watch what we spend. I think I spent, um, 
I ran in the Dollar Tree and got two items. I think I, I spent 46, 56, 66, 72. I think I spent about $85 today. And that was just getting stuff that I was out of that I knew that, uh, you know, that I couldn't wait another week till more money come in where, you know, I could go get it. But anyhow, it was a very frustrating day. It seemed like everywhere I went, there was something wrong. But anyhow, just wanted to vent. Thank you all for watching me. If you haven't subscribed to us, please do. Hit the notification bell. We put out videos, about three or four videos a week. Thank you for all the subscribers that we have got. And I hope I haven't swung too 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 high I, i'm just frustrated but anyhow thank you all god bless and y'all have a wonderful day